bulkheads just there, look. Yeah. Look, no, solid there. You can get an idea of where everything is inside the boat just from using a light hammer. And I'm not smacking it, it it's literally just a gentle rock. I mean, what makes me laugh is the number of people who go mad about people using surveyors using hammers. And most of them don't realise that when the boat came out the, the plug, the first thing that ever happened was the boat was tapped with a hammer to make sure there were no voids in it. So we've got a nice uh, keel joint here. It's, um, it's a stepped keel joint, which is actually, I think, a lot stronger. Um, certainly from an impact point of view, if the vessel hits something, you've got a very good uh, strength point here. Um, again, as you're tapping along, you can hear the thickness difference of the laminate as it comes away and there's no... There's no hollowness in, in, in all the lamination that you can hear of. Certainly got a lot of anti bell hanging off. And then, as I say, from the other side we've shown that you've got little telltales like this, this corrosion line down here which would suggest there's a, a little issue going on here and you can see the end of the keel is quite corroded so I'm using the sharp end of the hammer now and you can hear that there's a, a lot of mastic and stuff being chucked over that mind your eyes so what we've got there is, is actually quite a lot of semastic or something stuck in there. So you can actually just see back to the laminate. So you can just see the gel coat there. And the gel coat is nice and bright. So we know, you know it's, it, the keel isn't quite plumb on the bottom of the, uh, the moulding, which is why a lot of them get fared in. Um, but the iron keel itself has got quite a lot of corrosion here. And it's, it's actually a common one on a lot of westerlies where this corrosion, as it slowly expands underneath here, creates cra uh, stresses which cracks the laminate here, so it's always good. This is at a point where really this wants a damn good clean off. Um, yeah, you see corrosion starting. People, people worry an awful lot about corrosion. Um, As you can see from that, currently it's, it's pretty much contained to the actual iron keel and it hasn't actually damaged any of this. And again, fillet knife, I can't get it in there, which is always a good sign. Sometimes I've been to jobs like this and you can actually push the fillet knife in because the corrosion has actually jacked the two apart. Okay, So that's where we are. So, I mean, this wants really to be very deeply cleaned. There are some uh, wonderful... Uh, products on the market uh, with, with sanders and stuff that you can get this back to fairly bright metal and then get it to uh, epoxied. If not you've got to go and talk to someone very nicely about shot blasting which uh, a lot of boatyards are not liking these days because of obviously the dust problems but there are certainly slurry blasting and stuff like that you know and there's as I say there's a, um, there's a there's one particular thing that's uh, sold which I think is called a rotor blaster which is uh, used on the narrow boat market quite a lot and it actually will strip this back to almost like metal very quickly. Right. Very noisy, <laughs> but it will work. All right.